So the challenge facing uh, urban China today and in the next few decades would be uh, the increasingly bifurcating population. So now we have about 200 million migrants moving from rural areas to China. Another two to 300 millions are expected to do so, and many of them are going to be the urban poor. And uh, the second major challenge is the environmental challenge in terms of the impact of urbanization on the natural environment. So to meet some of these challenges, I think, uh, for instance, in terms of migration, there really needs to be central efforts. For instance, transfer of resources to allow bigger cities to have more incentives to open up to migrants. Second, also, some of these cities can be also allowed to interact more uh, freely with the capital markets to issue municipal bonds, to uh, connect with international investors. China has been debating whether to reform or not the household registration system. That is the main barrier for migrants to access a lot of urban benefits. And we really do think that these associate the household registration system and the urban benefits can be a real step forward to allow migrants to have better access uh, to uh, services in cities. So we understand that Chinese migrants are, are not receiving the same kind of services in cities. Allowing them to do so really can make a better, more livable city because of the increasing unrest we see and increasing unwillingness of migrants to work uh, for hard jobs in cities. And this is actually something that many cities will have to face labor shortages. In Chinese cities, the downtown is still the most desirable place to be, and, but the housing is getting very expensive there. So what we are seeing is some people want to live outside of these central parts, but their attraction remains there, and central cities remain to be the focal point of urban life, and I think that will continue and especially when efforts are made to keep the housing price uh, more in line with uh, what most people or residents can afford.